Before we go anywhere with this whole discussion, I have one question to ask. How long is it since you revisited possibly the single most important document in your survival kit, your business plan? If the answer is more than a couple of months, then it's time to dust it off and see if you're still on track or if it needs to be updated to reflect current conditions. And if you don't for some extraordinary reason have a business plan, stop this video immediately, consult the Starting Your Small Business Workbook to find out how to go about it, and then get onto it. Now here's how some successful South Australian small businesses rely on their business plan. I think having a business plan is a great start. The reason is because it makes you stop and think. You can have a fantastic idea and a fa fantastic concept, but unless you actually stop, do some research, actually think about all of your cash flow issues, create some budgets, create some marketing strategies, how are you going to actually create your business otherwise? It's about trying to foresee problems that you're going to have. And when you're conceptualising um, your business and your ideas, your, your, your mind is quite chaotic with all these ideas and the business plan helps to actually mesh these together and I suppose it's a bit of a psychological safeguard in times of craziness. The business plan has now been turned into um, the way we report, the way we measure, the way that we assess everything in the business. So the business plan, I don't think a business plan on its own um, adds a lot of value. You've got to be able to turn it into something meaningful in terms of the way that you report. So e.g. Our, our business development and our, our branding, there's actions around that. Our marketing, there's actions around that. Our people, there's actions around that. So those actions from the business plan have been used to, uh, to drive the business. Well I guess we, uh, we condensed our, our full business plan into a, into a a one page business plan which is what we sort of operate with on a on a month to month basis I guess so that we're constantly referring to and um, and updating and, and and referring back to our original goals for opening the business and, and, and why we're here um, the original business plan itself though is, is quite a quite a big document that um, yeah I think stays in the cupboard but the, the the one pager gets referred to quite often yeah there you go Hot tips from local people with a firm focus and direction, guided by one gilt-edged investment, their business plan, often quite a simple document.